Hello, Pisces. Go. Oh, okay. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the last week in April. This reading is for all of the Pisces out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week in April. Let me get this card if I can. <laughs> okay. Sheesh. All right. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like you connect with this reading, and you want to show some support to this channel, hit the subscription link. If you have not already, along with the notification bell, so that you are notified when the videos are posted. Also, hit that thumbs up image to help the video circulate. And for something more private, more detailed and specific to your story, the link to the email address will be posted in the description box below the video. Pisces, I am seeing a conversation. Some of you may be um, having a conversation about traveling taking a trip or you're thinking about this i'm seeing someone here thinking about going on a vacation somewhere local okay some of you may be done with a i see gemini energy here another pisces virgo energy aquarius leo taurus or scorpio i see something here for you coming full circle Something here is coming for a circle. Could be pertaining to a commitment or a higher level of commitment. I'm seeing with this world car, some of you may be thinking about purchasing a new car. Renting a car, purchasing a new car. I'm seeing the initials T, A, R, and O. Red, gray, black, gold, tannish color vehicle. You may feel like something... You're waiting for something to um, turn in your favor. Some of you may be waiting for money to come in. Comment in the comment section below and let me know if you are waiting for money to come in. You may be waiting. Someone, I'm seeing the lovers and I'm seeing someone here having options. Someone here may have a, a, a side piece. I'm seeing someone here maybe having a side piece or someone on the side. Someone, you may be making a decision about someone that caused you some heartbreak as well. With the magician card, I feel like you're manifesting a message from this person because you feel as if things are stuck, suspended in the air, and you don't know where they're going or how things are going to turn out. Yeah, I'm seeing you trying to bring balance in and this could be vice versa this could be you or your partner i'm seeing someone here trying to balance out and bring stability in this union within a family dynamic it's like how can i balance out this could also be someone trying to balance out the finances within a family dynamic maintaining and balancing out the finances within a family I see um, a foundation being rebuilt, but I'm also seeing some deceptiveness here. Someone, I see someone, someone here may be in the third party. There, this may be someone, someone may be dealing with another person. I'm seeing someone creeping around. There's some deception here. I see that um, a foundation is being rebuilt. Something is being rebuilt. Someone may be sneaking off to put an end to something because it's causing them to have headaches. Someone is like, why did I do that? 
Like, why? I see this person. If there is a third party going on, someone is putting it, putting it into a third party and rebuilding a relationship within a commitment. I, I see that. Could be with the Sagittarius or Scorpio. Someone's putting it into a third party and rebuilding their marriage or long-term commitment. And I feel like with the temperance card, I feel like someone here in this union was patient. And that's what allowed this person to turn around and balance this union out. Yeah. I feel like someone was ready to walk away from this. Someone was getting ready to walk away from this re relationship. There was arguments, con um, conflict, fighting, back and forth, bickering, back and forth. And someone took control of the situation to balance things out. <clears throat> yep. Someone was tired of feeling like they were sleeping alone. Someone had detached their emotions from the situation. And once they had detached their emotions, it allowed their partner room to make the changes that needed to be made. Yeah. Because someone was giving their attention to a third party. Someone here had secrets. They were, had secrets while their partner was walking away. And Pisces, that is you walking away. Like, I'm not putting up with this shit and I'm going to leave. I'll leave. Some of you may have said that to someone. And this person was like, came back in like, no, 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 don't go. I've made a decision. Let's talk this out so that we can overcome the obstacles that are in the way, which is the obstacles that I created. I want to hold on to this commitment. I want things to be stabilized. Yeah, I don't want things to be stuck. I don't want to stay on me. I want to move towards peace and harmony. And they wanted to move towards peace and harmony with their partner, which is you. Yeah. They walked up. Someone walked away from a third party. I feel like it wasn't even a loan of, uh, affair. This was something that was short time. <laughs> Someone walked away from a third party. And that person was that they walked away from was um, disappointed because they chose to, they reflected. Someone here was beating themselves up about this third party. They did some reflection and they walked away from it to balance things out in this relationship. See? Runner. Running away from that third party. A third party. Let's see if their card come out. Yep. Karmic relationship. Third party is a karmic relationship. It's something that teaches a lesson. Someone had to run away and let it go. Talk things out. In order to reignite and start over in a commitment. This person did not lose faith. At all. Soulmates. Learning lessons. They learned whatever lesson they, that they needed to learn, they learned. It was about having one night stands or having people on the side. And now you're in a new phase in this commitment. You're um, co recommitted to one another, rekindling things. The relationship is probably better now, and you're able to grow from the experience. So, I'm going to leave it at that, Pisces. This is your reading for the energy in the end of April. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.